So the Jays are down 5-3, and it's something like the 7th or the 8th inning, and they have Kirk on third base, less than two outs, and Varsho hits a medium fly ball. It's a two-run game. And now Varsho with a fly ball to left center. And the catch is made by Young, the center fielder. Here comes Kirk, and he's out. So the obvious uh, concern here is if you had literally anybody running for Kirk, he would have scored. But he's not the tying run, and he's one of your best bats. So taking him out would risk not having him in the next inning. But at the same time, it's not the fourth inning. It's late in the game. And it would have been a guaranteed run if you pinch ran for him. Pinch running, by the way, for one of the slowest runners in baseball. Oh, and why does this matter, by the way? Well, the Blue Jays actually scored a run the next inning, which actually means that if they pinch ran for Kirk and scored that run, then they would have tied the game the next inning, and they could have easily won the game in extras. And obviously, it made a lot of people question their faith in John Schneider. John, would, would that always be the way that you handle the pinch runner? Is that it has to be the tying run because... That DH spot wasn't coming up again, and McCoy was there. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the way we're looking at it. You know, you pitch hit Barsh there, you're looking to do damage, you know, to try to take the lead and clip a homer. Um, you know, you never know. There's way the game goes, you know, a lot, a lot of different ways to where, you know, crazy shit happens, and you get into the 11th inning, and that spot comes up, and you want Kirky at the plate. So, um, yeah, yeah, kind of a general rule of thumb. Yeah, for sure. You know, the, you know, the odds of a medium depth fly ball with an average throwing outfielder and Kirky at third was probably last on my bingo card. Hold on a second. So you don't want to pinch run for Kirk because you want him to you want there to be a chance for him to come up later in the game. Well, if he ends up coming up later in the game, theoretically, they would have already won because he just batted. And it's the bomb the eighth inning. If they, if there's a chance that Kirk comes back up to bat, there wouldn't be another chance for him to come up to bat because if it goes all throughout the batting lineup, they would have already won. So that doesn't even make any sense. Hey, John, uh, going back to the uh, eighth inning there, uh, Kirk on second, was there consideration given to pinch running or how did that process go as he reached third? Yeah, I mean, we were a little short. Uh, Brandon wasn't available. Wait, 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 wait. Brandon Belt pinch running? The reporter just mentioned that you have McCoy. Do you not know who's available on your bench? Uh, we had guys playing everywhere, you know, Biz at, sh at short, Davis at third, you know, kind of a lot of moving parts. Um, time run, yeah, we would have had a runner there. Um, down by two, no. So uh, here's the sports anchors reacting to that. So that was John okay. Schneider's yeah. answer as to why he didn't pinch run for Kirk. It was the tying run, not the go-ahead run. That's his logic. It's baseball logic, I guess, for some, but you can, he, he was pressed on it there because yeah. some people in that room were buying it. Well, I've noticed that some of the Blue Jays reporters on Twitter have questioned. These are guys who watch baseball every single day, but he made it sound like it was an easy decision. Like there was never in his mind that they should have pinch run. Well, Brandon Bell wasn't available, but uh, yeah, we've seen he's not someone you would have used but anyway. We've seen pitches from in the past if you have to. So that was the answer from John Schneider. He didn't pinch run for Alejandro Kirk because he was the tying, tying run, not the go ahead run. Yeah, something along those lines. He wanted his bat up potentially in a go ahead situation later. Look at Ken Reed, man. He's in just such disbelief. Oh man, what a mess. In the game, if that. Came to pass. So, there you go. There you go. We'll probably revisit that quote again before the show's over. And tomorrow and the next day. Yeah, and probably then too. This is something that at least I'll give the media credit is that they are questioning this decision. So here's uh, Ben Nicholson Smith, uh, Blue Jays analyst, talking about the boneheaded decision that John Schneider made. The Blue Jays did have their chances late in the ball game to pull this one off. We'll take you to the eighth inning when we saw Alejandro Kirk get thrown out at the plate. Now, Ben Nicholson-Smith, he wasn't the tying run, but I know many had wondered whether there was an opportunity for a pinch runner. And there was. And realistically, that could have been a chance for Mason McCoy to come in. It would have been Mason McCoy's major league debut uh, and likely would have made the play closer at home plate. Closer at home plate? Listen, I don't mean to disrespect Kirk. If anybody else on this team would have been running, they would have made that. Required a great throw from Young, the center fielder, 
for Washington, but still that's a painful way to be thrown out in that inning and in a game that the Blue Jays lose by one run. It's all magnified. At this point in the season, it feels like the ALCS. Here we are in August and every play is getting analyzed and criticized as it should be, but that's a product of the Blue Jays not playing better baseball earlier in the season, not building themselves enough of an advantage. Here we go, shifting the blame from, from something that can be controlled to something that can't. Listen, I know that the reason the Blue Jays are not in the playoffs is because they aren't playing as well as they should be. But when you look at these tiny plays, these tiny decisions that a manager can make to affect the game, and you realize that, yeah, he made the wrong move there. Is that someone that you want to still consider as your manager for the future, knowing that he's going to make mistakes like that? Anyway, Jays lose the game 5-4.